Hi guys, Mark LeBone here. How are you all doing today? Right, today we are going to go back to basics. Um, had a couple of requests um, to go back to some of the earlier stuff for um, the one finger guys that are just completely novices, never played a guitar or any instrument before, want to go back to square one. Now, one guy actually um, sent me a comment, which is a very good one, and it was Tony Hyde. Um, now, he's been following some of my lessons, never played a guitar before, but what he came up with was a brilliant idea, and I, I never thought of it, but it's a good idea, and I'm going to share it with you guys. When Tony said to me, he says, um, the other week I did a, a, a tuition for beginners, and I think I'd done the Rolling Stones um, Tonky Tonk Woman, and I was going through the chords, because I was doing it as a one finger one, so that we know that the... Because we're in open G, of course, which is G, D, G on the strings, when you play all the strings, it is a G. And the, then there's obviously a, C, a, a C and a D in it. Well, the C is on the 5th fret, the D is on the 7th fret, and the A is on the 2nd fret. Now, the way he's done it is not by doing it by the chord name, he's doing it by numbers. So, chord, G, because it's open, that's zero. Okay? A, because it's the second fret, that's chord, chord two, because you're on the second fret. And C, which is chord five, because you're on the fifth fret. And chord D, which is seven, so you're on the seventh fret. So that's chord seven. So, it's quite a good little way of learning, um, if you don't know obviously anything about the guitar. Um, so I've done, done up a new sheet, a new sheet for you guys. There you go, you can have a look at that. Um, and I will put a link below so you can actually download this or email me and you can download this. So what I've done here is I've done all strings, G equals all strings strummed, so that's all strings open. And then I've gone down it from one to 12 because past 12 on the that's E, then you're going to repeat, because then it's basically 11 is 1. So you, from 12, you repeat what you've had up here, but just an octave higher. Um, and then what I've done is, um, the major chords I've put, so number 2 is A, um, number 4 is B, number 5 is C, and, but, and then the in-between chords are either sharp or, my, or, or flat. Some people say G sharp, some people say A flat, so I've just put them in on the sheets for your reference as well, but there'll be numbers. So, what I'm going to do is, on some of my lessons which are aimed specifically at you guys, the one chord guys, are just specifically learning, I will do the chords, but under the chords on the screen, I'll also put the number. So, obviously, G will relate to zero being all open strings. And if it's an A, it'd be A, and there'd be a two underneath, which means second fret. So it might help you get along much faster if I do it that way. So Tony, you come up with a great idea, um, and I'm going to pass it on and share it to all you guys, and I'm going to keep doing it. So if we went through the honky tonk woman like we did in the previous beginners lessons, it would start in the zero chord, which is the G. I'll do the strumming in a minute. And then you go to the five, which is the C. Second A to the seventh. O. See, so it's a simpler way of doing it. So what I'm going to do is, for all the lessons, the beginner lessons, I'm going to do that as a double one. So I'll be in a G, but underneath it will have the number, which would be zero. So you know zero would be open strings, and then all the rest of the chords will have a number underneath, which will mean it is the fret position for one fingers. So it was a great little idea. So um, I just thought I'd share that one. Um, so you can start downloading that, that sheet. And then um, I shall be putting some lessons up purely for you guys that are real beginners and, um, and the one finger guys. And I, there is a, a lesson I've put up about strumming and picking techniques. Um, so I shall, go right back to basics with some of these new lessons 
for you guys that are learning that you're not struggling you're learning so and of course I've had some other comments with I put sometimes too many songs up and they can't you know the song they're trying to learn the song so what we do is we're going to go back to basics so if there's any songs you want to learn send me a link to the songs you want to learn um, and then we'll break them down I'll try and break them down as one chord or one finger songs so that you guys can learn it might help you a lot more better and it might help you a lot a lot better if we go on the numbering sequence okay that's it from me it's only a quick one to let you know about that what's coming up um, don't forget to subscribe at the button here somewhere and there's a couple of beginners there's a beginners one and there's a strumming one up there um, so have a click on them so see you soon for new lessons bye for now mark the button